the man Pedro placed his bet on. I'm gonna keep Straw Hat alive. So prepare yourselves, because there is no one left in the world who can stop my rampage. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today, we are going to be delving into the life and times of the ever loyal Pecoms. Pecoms is a suave and stylish lion mink who made his first appearance in the series at the tail end of the Fishman Island arc. And immediately his personality was quite strongly characterized by his ferocious lion-esque temper. However, Pecoms also retains another trait generally attributed to lions, which is that of loyalty. Pecoms exhibits extreme devotion to those whom he considers comrades or to those he feels indebted towards. And unfortunately for Pecoms, this sense of honor can plague his decision-making at certain points in the series. But for now, at the time of his introduction, Pecoms was a relatively high-ranking member of the Big Mom Pirate led by the Yonko Charlotte Lin Lin. However, prior to this association, Pecoms was a member of the Nox Pirates, a group of mink explorers captained by Pecoms' sworn brother, Pedro. The purpose of the Nox Pirates was to locate the Poneglyphs scattered throughout the world, and they achieved relative success, but they would be met with a dire situation of grave injuries and low morale, which prompted Pecoms to take everyone who could no longer continue the journey and leave the Nox Pirates in search of safety. And this endeavor resulted in Pecoms and the Nox Pirates arriving in Totaland, the territory of Charlotte Lin Lin, and the whole crew subsequently pledged their allegiance to the Big Mom Pirates, in exchange for the opportunity to start new lives amongst the 35 islands controlled by the Emperor. Meanwhile, Pecoms gradually worked his way up the ranks within the crew, and even eventually earned the trust of Big Mom herself. Now, it's not clear how many years passed between these events, but Pecoms would come to be reunited with his former Captain Pedro one day, when he appeared in Totaland in search of the Poneglyphs held by Big Mom. However, Pedro and his only remaining comrade, Zeppo, were convincingly defeated by the overwhelming might of the Big Mom Pirates, and subject to the punishment of her roulette wheel, which claimed the life of Zeppo, and were it not for the interference of Pecoms pleading with Big Mom, it may very well have meant the death of Pedro as well. Instead, the Emperor took 50 years of Pedro's lifespan and allowed him to leave Totaland safely. After which point, Pecoms resumed business as usual with the Big Mom Pirates and was often paired with fellow crewmate Baron Tamago to conduct important operations. Pecoms proved so efficient in the art of piracy that he even caught the attention of the world government and was issued a bounty of 330 million berries. And one such mission he was sent on was to collect a candy tribute from the citizens of Fishman Island after Big Mom had offered to protect their territory following the death of Whitebeard. There was a slight hitch here though, and that was that by the time they arrived on the island, all of the candy had been consumed, and it was Monkey D. Luffy who claimed to have eaten all 10 tons of it. Now naturally, this threw becomes into his trademark state of pure rage, as Big Mom has killed or maimed trusted subordinates for failing far less than this. However, in an uncharacteristically clever move by Luffy, he offered the Big Mom pirates a ton of treasure in payment for the candy, and successfully focused her wrath onto him. This allowed Pecoms and Tamago to leave the island with something of worth, although it wasn't before we caught a glimpse of exactly why Pecoms had risen so far within the Big Mom Pirates, as he came into conflict with a rookie pirate named Karibo. Initially, Pecoms proved completely immune to his machine gun attacks, thanks to the power of his own devil fruit, the Kamekame no Mi, which is a Zolan type fruit that allows its user to transform into a turtle, making Pecoms essentially a lion turtle. And despite being up against a Logia user, Pecoms incapacitated Karibo with a single strike, demonstrating his ability to use armament haki in the process. But with the Straw Hat Pirates essentially having Having declared war on the Big Mom Pirates, Pecoms would now be sent to actively pursue them, making a brief appearance in the waters surrounding Dressrosa, but later following half of them to his very own home island of Zo. Unbeknownst to Pecoms, the Mink tribe had recently suffered an attack directed by Kaido, another of the four emperors, and it was the members of the Straw Hat Pirates, along with an abducted Caesar clown, who were responsible for saving the lives of his people. In accordance with his sense of honor, Pecoms offered his deepest gratitude directly to Sanji. However, this sense of honor would also lead to great conflict within Pecoms, and he found that he had no choice but to allow the Straw Hats to go free and suffer the wrath of Big Mom. He would not get the chance to do that though, as his partner on the mission, Capone Gangbeige, promptly shot him and abducted both Sanji and Caesar Clown. Thanks to activating his Devil Fruit powers at the last second, Pecoms managed to survive the onslaught of Beige's bullets, although he was unable to nullify them completely this time around, and so Pecoms spent the following days recovering Onzo, and when the other half of the Straw Hat Pirates arrived, they formed, how shall we put this, a non-consensual alliance with Pecoms, forcing him to take them to Whole Cake Island in order to rescue Sanji. Quite no Notably, one of the members of this retrieval team was Pecom's former Captain Pedro, who felt indebted to the Straw Hats, but who also joined because he was the only one capable of dealing with Pecom's in his Sulong form. Sulong being a transformation granted to the Mink tribe, accessible by staring into a full moon. This transformation is considered to be the true form of the Mink tribe, although very few members are able to master it, and many let their primal urges take control, embarking on a mindless rampage, which can very potentially lead to death. Now, Pecom's happens to fall into this category, and only the voice of his sworn brother Pedro is able to get through to him in this state. 
but onwards to Whole Cake Island, Pecom's role in the opening stages of this new adventure was fairly simple. He got captured by Capone Gang Beige and was subsequently shot by him again. But this time, Pecom's was saved by the Sun Pirates led by Jinbei. He would later come to discover that Pedro sacrificed his life for the sake of the Straw Hat Pirates, which led Pecom's to honor the wishes of his former captain and betray the Big Mom Pirates in order to assist Luffy in escaping Totterland. He did this by entering the Mirror World and carrying Luffy out after his victory over Charlotte Katakuri. Although so as not to be recognized by anybody, Pecom's donned a disguise and named himself Nazoms. However, literally everybody, including Luffy actually, recognized him instantly because, you know, how many talking lions are there in the world? In order to ensure Luffy's safety, Pecom's entered his Sulong transformation However, before he could cause any major damage, Pecoms was subdued by Charlotte Oven, as well as his other siblings, who came up with the idea to gouge out his eyes to deactivate the Sulong form. But whether or not they were successful in this act is currently unknown, and this would be the last we saw of Pecoms during the Whole Cake Island arc. Some more fun facts about Pecoms. In the anime adaptation, Pecom's time in Sulong form was significantly extended to include a flashback of him in the form with Pedro, as well as a conflict with the Charlotte decouplets and even a brief skirmish with Sanji. After which point, Pecom saw Luffy and was able to briefly gain control of himself. As with much of the Big Mom Pirates, Pecom's bears a resemblance to a certain character from Alice in Wonderland, in this case being the Mock Turtle. Pecom's name may be a reference to the Japanese word Peko Peko, which roughly translates as hungry and would be fitting with the general theme of the Big Mom Pirates, being named after food and food accessories. And finally, a truly useless fact. Whenever Pecom's wants to seem particularly intimidating, he will remove his sunglasses. However, this often has the opposite effect as everyone who sees his eyes just immediately thinks of how adorable he is. But that pretty much does it for Pecoms. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece 101.